Lee County is a county of the U.S. state of Alabama. As of the 2010 census the population was 140,247. The county seat is Opelika, and the largest city is Auburn. The county is named for General Robert E. Lee (1807–1870), who served as General in Chief of the Armies of the Confederate States in 1865. Lee County comprises the Auburn Opelika Al Metropolitan Statistical Area, which is included in the Columbus Auburn Opelika Gar Al Combined Statistical Area. Topic History Lee County was established by the state legislature on December 5, 1866, out of parts of Macon, Tallapoosa, Chambers, and Russell counties. In an election to determine the county seat, Opelika was chosen over Auburn and Salem. In 1923, Phoenix City, located in the southeastern corner of Lee County, merged with the town of Girard, located in the northeastern corner of Russell County. To prevent the new town of Phoenix City from straddling the Lee-Russell line, Lee County ceded to Russell County the 10 square miles (25.9 square kilometers) in the southeastern corner surrounding Phoenix City in exchange for 20 square miles (51.8 square kilometers) in the northwest corner of Russell County surrounding the unincorporated community of Marvin. This territory is what forms the southern panhandle of Lee County. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography. According to the US Census Bureau, the county has a total area of 616 square miles, 1600 square kilometers, of which 608 square miles, 1570 square kilometers is land and 8.3 square miles, 21 square kilometers, 1.3% is water. Topic: Major highways. Topic: Adjacent counties. Chambers County, North. Harris County, Georgia, Northeast. Muscogee County, Georgia, East. Russell County, South. Macon County, Southwest. Tallapoosa County, Northwest. Topic: Demographics. As of the census of 2000, there were 115,092 people, 45,702 households, and 27,284 families residing in the county. The population density was 189 people per square mile, 73 per square kilometers. There were 50,329 housing units at an average density of 83 per square miles, 32 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the county was 74.07% white, 22.65% black or African American, 0.24% Native American, 1.63% Asian, 0.02% Pacific Islander, 0. 0.46% from other races, and 0.93% from two or more races. 1.43% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. 
there were 45,702 households out of which 29.70% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 44.10% were married couples living together, 11.80% had a female householder with no husband present, and 40.30% were non-families, 27.80% of all households were made up of individuals and 5 0.70% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.42 and the average family size was 3.03. In the county, the population was spread out with 23.30% under the age of 18, 22.70% from 18 to 24, 28.10% from 25 to 44, 17.80% from 45 to 64, and 8.10% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 28 years. For every 100 females, there were 96.90 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 95.20 males. The median income for a household in the county was $30,952, and the median income for a family was $46,781. Males had a median income of $33,598 versus $23,228 for females. The per capita income for the county was $17,158. About 11.10% of families and 21.80% of the population were below the poverty line, including 16.30% of those under age 18 and 12.00% of those age 65 or over. Topic: 2010 census. As of the census of 2010, there were 140,247 people, 55,682 households, and 33,692 families residing in the county. The population density was 227.7 people per square mile, 87.9 per square kilometers. There were 62,391 housing units at an average density of 101.3 per square miles, 39.1 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the county was 71.3% white, 22.7% black or African American, 0.3% Native American, 2.6% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 1.3% from other races, and 1.6% from two or more races. 3.3% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 55,682 households out of which 28.0% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 43.1% were married couples living together, 13.0% had a female householder with no husband present, and 39.5% were non-families, 27.9% of all households were made up of individuals and 6.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.44 and the average family size was 3.03. In the county, the population was spread out with 22.5% under the age of 18, 20.5% from 18 to 24, 26.1% from 25 to 44, 21.8% from 45 to 64, and 9.1% who were 65 years of age or older. 
The median age was 28.3 years. For every 100 females, there were 97.2 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 98.0 males. The median income for a household in the county was $40,894, and the median income for a family was $59,112. Males had a median income of $42,335 versus $31,766 for females. The per capita income for the county was $22,794. About 11.0% of families and 19.2% of the population were below the poverty line, including 19.0% of those under age 18 and 9.0% of those age 65 or over. topic government Among the principal governmental functions vested in Alabama counties are law enforcement, tax assessment, levy and collection, administration of decedents' estates and probate matters, maintenance of real and personal property title records, construction and maintenance of public roads and bridges, and maintenance of the county courthouse, which provides office space for various county officials and departments. Lee County is governed by a six-member county commission, composed of a chairman and five commissioners. The probate judge, who serves as chairman of the county commission, is elected countywide for a six-year term. The other five members of the county commission are elected from single-member districts for four-year terms. Each commissioner must be a registered voter and live within the district they represent. Commissioners are not all elected at the same time. Three commissioners are elected in one election cycle, and the other two members are elected in the next election cycle two years later, so that the terms are staggered for continuity. The county commission employs a county administrator, who serves as its chief administrative officer. It is the responsibility of the county administrator to carry out the policies and directives of the commission, and for the development and management of the county's annual operating budget. The administrator serves as the budgetary agent for all county offices. The county administrator is also responsible for the supervision and management of various department heads, and for ensuring that all agreements, leases and other contractual obligations of the commission are properly performed. The county administrator works with Lee County commissioners and other elected county officials to facilitate the delivery of quality and effective services to the citizens of Lee County. Topic: Education. Lee County is home to Auburn University, a large comprehensive public university, and Southern Union State Community College, a two-year degree and technical college. Topic: Communities. Topic Cities Auburn Opelika, County Seat Phoenix City, partly in Russell County, Smith's Station. Topic Towns Lochapoka Notasulga, partly in Macon County. Waverly, partly in Chambers County. Topic: Unincorporated communities. Topic: 
Topic: Places of interest. Lee County is home to Auburn University Museum of Natural History, Chuakla State Park, the Jewel Collins Smith Museum of Fine Art, Beans Mill, the Salem Shotwell Covered Bridge and the Grand National Golf Course which is part of the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Gallery Topic. See also List of memorials to Robert E. Lee National Register of Historic Places listings in Lee County, Alabama Properties on the Alabama Register of Landmarks and Heritage in Lee County, Alabama <laughs>